Hey everyone, happy Easter to those of you who celebrate. Today's reading is going to be for Divine Soulmates, Twin Flames, um, what's going on in the in the collective, Divine Masculines as well as Divine Feminines. I may actually split this video into two parts, um, but we'll see, just to kind of separate the Masculines from the, from the Feminines energy so I can clear the desk and have just more space for all the cards. So, um, I do have just one little thing I want to mention. There's a chance I might be um, taking a trip going to the States. For those of you who don't know, I am in Greece. And yeah, so I might have to make a trip to the States for like a week or 10 days, possibly mid-month or towards the end of the month. So if that happens, I may need to extend um, my turnaround time for personal readings, all right? So just do keep that in mind. Uh, those of you who have already booked with me, you will have your reading on the date that I have given you. But from here on out, um, for personal readings, it might just take me a little bit longer because I just don't know how much time I'm actually going to have on my trip, um, as well as the proper surroundings, <laughs> to actually um, do personal readings. Alright, so with that said, thank you to everybody who has subscribed. Um, those of you who leave me comments, that's just the best thing for me. It just really means a lot to me. Thank you. As well as all of you who get personal readings and a special, special thank you to those of you who um, give me tips for, for the personal readings. I appreciate it. All right, so let's get started and see what's going on. We're going to start with the Divine Masculines and see what's what they're going through now as well as what is coming up. And then we'll take a look at the feminine's energy as well. So I am going to be pulling at least three from three oracle decks to start off. And then we'll get into the tarot. All right. So what is going on with the masculines currently? I feel like there's more of a shift for the feminines actually, but we'll see what wants to come through. All right, we have Enchanted Forest, Mystery, Magic, Excitement. Yeah, so it is it, it is kind of interesting um, what the masculines are currently going through. I feel like there's a mixture of certain, of different types of emotions. And I've been talking about this actually, I think the past couple of readings where it just feels like new emotions, some different emotions, and then feeling just a lot of things all at once. And it's just kind of trying to, to put everything together. And I feel like because of that, they do feel like there's some kind of a mystery something is feeling actually mysterious in their lives that they're trying to really figure out and it is related to what they feel towards their feminines and really coming to terms with that and not only what they feel but also about how can they change their lives what changes need to be made in order for them to have fulfillment because well i'll say the because in just a little bit because i'm just i'm getting <laughs> messages coming through um, but let me just organize them. Let's see what else we get. All right, the thinking man. And let me just get a couple more from this deck here. So yeah, I mean, with that thinking man, it's exactly what I'm talking about. Trying to put things into perspective, really thinking about everything and trying to figure things out. These, well, we'll take them. All right, so we also have soulmate, stuck, and refocus. So yeah, they're feeling this connection as a mystery right now. There is a, there's this underlying sense of excitement when it comes to their divine feminine, all right? The way that they're thinking about you. But at the same time, they're also, they're feeling that they've been stuck and that they want to refocus away from that. This is what they're thinking about. How is it that they can refocus their energy away from this stuckness that they have been feeling. So the message that I, that I was um, picking up on about a minute ago is that I feel like there have been some triggers in their lives right now 
um, possibly involving other people or maybe hearing about a situation from other people or maybe even experiencing a situation with someone else. It doesn't necessarily have to be a karmic partner, although it could be, but I'm getting very strongly that there was something, something that's been happening with other people or two other people that they know about where it's really making them focus on what is going on in their own lives. Like, for example, um, maybe seeing a situation that someone else is going through um, who has not taken action to really find their fulfillment and seeing the consequences of that, and it just gets them to be thinking about, I don't want to be that. I don't, that's not where I want to be, let's say, you know, 20 years from now, 10 years from now, two years from now, even a year from now. Like, is that is that what I'm doing? It's almost like they're seeing a reflection of their own self in someone else's situation and that is triggering them to re to want to refocus away from the stuckness in relation to their soulmate right to their divine soulmate so this is what has been going on going on in their minds and all of this brings just about this essence of excitement and just mystery so i feel like yeah that is the overall um theme or energy for what they are going through at least on a spiritual level and even in the 3D, because they are consciously thinking about this. This isn't 5D thinking. This is 3D thinking that we're talking about. All right. So, yeah. Manix might have a say in this. Yeah. All right. Let's get into the tarot. So I will only be taking uprights in this reading. We have the Six of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. Yeah, there's this strong urge to maybe even travel for some of them to just actually move. So for some of them, I'm getting that they might actually, um, if they can, all right, and if they have the ability to do this, I feel like for a lot of them, they might take some kind of a um, small trip, a small journey, or even if it's just something like um, spending a couple of nights just somewhere else other than their home, that's just coming through for some of them, um, to just kind of be alone and really think. They're, it's crazy thinking right now is what's coming through. And this thinking, again, it's revolving around how can I move away from conflict? How can I move towards being just independent and very assured within myself because I feel like they've been they've been in a very long phase of just not feeling secure within their own self not having a high sense of self-worth and this is them wanting to move towards that but it feels also like if they're not taking a trip away, because that's only going to be for some of them, this is just really wanting to move away from that conflict and move towards that Nine of Pentacles energy. So for some of them, yeah, it might mean that they need to detach from something, that they need to become more independent of other situations in their lives. And again, it's coming through to me that they want to be different. They want to make sure that, you know, their future right? Because the Three of Wands is about looking into the future. The way they're thinking about the future is that they want to be more like this Nine of Pentacles. They want to be independent. They want to be assured. They want to be feeling strong within their own self that they can have abundance and everything that they need and desire in their lives. But they realize that this is actually going to require some kind of movement here. There's something that needs to be left behind, the old ways of thinking. So I feel like this is um, just, I feel like for a lot of them, it's a major epiphany. And again, I feel like it has to do with, for a lot of them, it's going to be that there was some kind of an external trigger causing them to think so much about this. 
They're, it's leaving behind whatever is keeping them stuck. It's That Six of Swords is the refocus, moving in a different direction towards the future. And again, I mean, even if you look at this card here, you can see how this woman on the horse, she's moving forward, but you don't see what's in the future. You don't see what's in the distance. So it's kind of like not knowing, but also knowing the energy that you want to be in. And that's not where they are right now because right now there's, they know they've been stuck. So let's see. Let's see what else we get. Anything maybe more specific to their feminines. All right, we have the Ten of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. All right, that's a lot of Pentacles, all right? Three and three, and then we also have um, the Nine of Pentacles up here. So as I was saying in the very beginning, it's a lot of 3D thinking, all right? This is not what's going on in the 5D. Um, a part of it is, and they are affected by what is happening with their higher self, right? Or what is happening in the 5D. But this is what's playing out right now in the physical world. All right, so they're thinking a lot about this commitment. This is what they're wanting to move towards. They want to move towards something more stable, as I was saying before, but that stability, yeah, first it comes from within themselves, right? Like this Nine of Pentacles wanting to be um, self, just self-dependent, right? Having that without anything else. But ultimately though, when it comes to their feminine, they do want to share that with you. That sense of that stability. And that's coming, that's being even more reinforced here with this King of Pentacles. And this King of Pentacles, the way it's coming through, it's like the sense of also wanting to take care of you, feeling like they need to be in this Nine of Pentacles energy, that independent, abundant energy, feeling like they deserve you in order to be able to provide you with what you deserve. And it's kind of like they feel like that's the only way that this could work out, that there could be a collaboration between the two of you. It's almost like they need to, it's like they can sense how much work you've done on yourself. I feel like they're also seeing you as that Nine of Pentacles and they see you being in that position. And they want to be able to match you, you know, compromise or at least be able to meet you halfway. So this is actually very, um, interesting because it, it it feels different than what we usually get um for the masculine so them being so focused right now on commitment on stability and on the long term which is what i've been talking about for the future like now they're beginning to think in terms of all right long term like you know time is passing time is passing and i can't just keep thinking about the now i've been stuck how long am i going to be stuck for in this whatever type of life situation I'm stuck in. Am I really happy? I have to refocus if I want my future to be different than what it, than what my life is right now. So it's a lot of thinking about the long term and thinking about the distant future, pushing them to make the decisions um, in the present. All right, I do just want to clarify because I mean, it's very positive. It's very positive um, overall, but there's definitely still some some work here that they need to do. It's, it's really about integrating all of these thoughts, all of this thinking. All right, I, did, I know I didn't call out what I was clarifying, but I was clarifying um, the three of wands here, all right, for what they're thinking about the future. And we have the ace of swords and the knight of cups. So this is all about thinking again about the future. How are they going to take action? How are they going to take action and come forward as this knight of cups to move towards, to move towards love basically and to where their heart is calling them. So they're thinking about the action and hopefully that action will actually follow the thought. Let's see the King of Pentacles. All 
the Nine of Pentacles again, and the Four of Cups. Yeah, so for a lot of them, it feels like, you know, they, they realize that they have either taken you for granted or the way I, I said that they have been seeing you as being in this energy, like you are taking care of yourself, you are moving forward. I feel like for the most part, a lot of the feminines have become more independent, a lot more detached from what is um, going on with the masculine or, you know, just kind of like releasing those expectations, right, that you may have once been holding on to very strongly. And it's almost like they feel like, like they just hadn't really appreciated what you had to offer and it's like now that they can sense that in you it's like they, they realize that, that they had taken what you do have to offer they had taken that for granted um, I also feel like that is almost making them feel at the moment like it is very difficult for them to be this king of pentacles for you because I feel like they, they feel like they haven't matched you yet but they do have that motivation to do so because that's what they're thinking about that's what they're trying to refocus um, their energy and attention towards and that's why they're thinking so much about that alright because it's kind of like they've been settling for something less than that and, they, and this is, again, um, confirming what I said, that they feel like they need to be like this Nine of Pentacles, which is like you, before they can be this King of Pentacles for you. All right, let me clarify the Three of Pentacles. And I don't know why I have these all the way over there, since... I'm going to clear the cards before doing the feminines. All right, so for the Three of Pentacles, we have the Page of Cups and the Eight of Wands. This is them opening up. I actually feel like for many of you during this time period, so maybe this already happened, maybe it's happening now, or maybe it's just um, coming up because time is relevant. A lot of them are actually taking action to at least communicate or express some emotions to you. Um, I do see communication here, all right, with that Eight of Wands, and that communication is, whatever it is, it's going to be from the heart. It's going to be some kind of an emotional expression, and I feel like that's one of their ways of approaching you to see what is workable or to just kind of see where things stand. So it might not happen in like this huge way, like it might not be this huge communication um, that's going to be groundbreaking or anything like that. I feel like it's going to be small with that page, but I feel like it's going to be from the heart. And I feel like, yeah, like for a lot of you, this is already um, taking place. So it might even be something very subtle. It might be, you know, just um, some kind of communication through social media, right? Even if it's just indirect, it might even be through somebody else for some of you. But I do feel like there is, at the very least, an opening up of their emotions and really being focused on their emotions and for, for most of them also communicating something about from their emotions to you. Okay, so let's take a look at what is coming up. So what is coming up in the next couple of weeks? All right, we have the Page of Swords, we have Strength, and we have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, it does feel like communication. Um, again, it feels small, but it's there, okay? There's some communication here that is going to be, again, I feel like it's going to be honest and that it will be from the heart. Uh, I do feel like there's going to be some, a little bit of um, a difficulty here, possibly in the expression. And possibly there, it might it might lead to some confusion. I feel like this confusion might be on your side um, because it might just get you thinking like, okay, well, you know, they've been showing me this, now they're saying this. Something might feel like it's not really 
adding up or it just might leave you feeling a little bit like, all right, what now? Um, that kind of an energy here. I f and I do f feel actually that the Seven of Cups is also for them. Because <laughs> I feel like the way that you might also respond to them might be a little bit confusing for them as well. And and they, they're just, I at the moment, I feel like they're dealing with a lot. Like I said, I feel like there's something happening in the external world that is somehow related to them. Um, a lot of them might be processing other situations as well. It's, it just kind of feels like they they have a lot of distractions at the moment and just trying to think about a lot of things all at once to the point where it can be a little bit overwhelming. So I feel like that is what what is coming up. Um, definitely trying to get that courage to communicate with you if you are not in communication. If you already are in communication, I feel like, again, it's just a matter of finding that strength in order to communicate more honestly with you, even if it does, even if they don't know really how to do that or if they feel confused about it or even um, having a lot of distractions. So I do feel like that is what is coming up. Let me just get a clarifier here for just for the whole combination. All right, and we have the Six of Wands. So it feels like, you know, it's interesting because for some of them, it might be that ego is going to get a little bit in the way and that might hinder them just a little bit um, because they might have a fear of failure, a fear of you not really um, either accepting what they're going to say or they might be afraid of your reactions. Um, but I do feel like they're very driven. They're very driven for um, success here because they just can't help it. Even if they're not really sure exactly what they want at the moment, they know what they want overall in the bigger picture. Okay, so that's why they are they are refocusing their energy, trying to get unstuck, knowing that they need to do something. And I feel like that first step for some of them is that communication. But this time, because a lot I know a lot of you um, communicate anyway, either consistently or on and off. This time, it's ba this communication is coming from a place of thinking about the long term future. Okay, so it's coming with that with a different motivation behind it. Okay, so let me just pull one last oracle card for this reading. And please do give me a thumbs up if this resonates for you. Subscribe if you haven't already. Or just let me know in the comments what's going on um, with your masculine if you happen to know. If it makes sense with this reading. Let's see. Alright, we have new life. And yeah, that's... <laughs> I feel like that pretty much sums it up as to when it comes to what it is that they're thinking about. They want the rest of their life to be different and new, um, different than what it has been up until now. And that is what they are focusing their energy on. All right, guys, those were the messages for the masculine. Stay tuned for the feminines. All right, and I'm back so we can take a look at what is going on for the Divine Feminine. And I do feel like the messages here are oftentimes a lot more significant than um, for the Masculine. But if you have not watched the first part for the Masculines, um, I did make some announcements in the very beginning of that video. So you might just want to check out the intro. It's just a couple of minutes. All right, and let's see. And also do keep in mind, um, these readings are general. So of course, they're not going to resonate for all of you. And they might not resonate for you every single time. And I feel like even for the um, feminines, I mean, everybody is just so different and there might be different things that you are processing, but we'll see what is going on with the collective. Let's see, four pennies. All right, we have the message, positive news, positive outcome. Okay, very interesting because for the masculines, it kept coming through that there's going to be some kind of communication that's going to be honest um, concerning their emotions or based on the long-term future. So getting the message here, um, 
pretty interesting, but this I feel is also about you just getting messages also from the universe and being able to pick up on just different signals that might be um, directed at you from the divine to just help you gain more insight into what is happening for you. So do pay attention to any messages that you feel you might you might be getting. Let's see what else. All right, we got two. We have Angel of Love and Community. This Community card, it does remind me of the Three of Card, uh, the Three of Cups in in Tarot. But the way this is coming through to me here is that you are beginning to really feel love for this connection, even if it has been painful. It's almost as if you're feeling like you can begin to see this person or the situation from with like a lighter sense to you rather than it being something so heavy and so dark and so difficult and so painful i feel like you're beginning to feel that love no matter what it is that has happened and so you are able to just pretty much enjoy your own life at the moment more than before even if you know, no matter no matter what is going on with the situation with with your divine counterpart. So let me see. Let me get a few more. All right, we have numbing, dark night of the soul. That's interesting, and regret. All right, I see what's happening here. All right, so you know how I, just in the intro of this part of the reading, I said that uh, that everybody's different and that you might be going through different parts of this journey or just different phases or just dealing with things differently. What I'm getting here is that the spirit is, is um, pointing out to me just two different general groups in the collective of divine feminines currently, okay? Um, so I feel like the one group is in this energy that I talked about in the beginning and then there are some of you that might be going through a pretty difficult time which again I feel like if you feel like that is you going through like a dark night of the soul at the moment know that this the first energy that I talked about that is coming up for you that is going to be um, part of your reality at some point okay this is not going to be forever and i do feel that you know who for those of you that are in this energy the first energy you may have been through this already and there's a lot of back and forth all right so some of you might not even know where you actually are when it comes to these two energies because there might be some fluctuations um you might know where you are right now but you might not even trust it because it may be the case that in the past you have felt this way, right, feeling good, only to go back to having another dark night of the soul. All right, so just know that that is natural and that is part of the process. And every time you repeat that cycle, which is not the same cycle, it's just repeating a cycle of going um, through a dark night of the soul and then feeling good. Every time it's, it's a higher level of that. All right, every time you're learning something new, you're having deeper insights about your own self and therefore you're having more growth, all right? So for those of you who are in this um, energy right now, yeah, you might feel regret for this whole situation. You might even feel like you regret um, possibly giving as much as you have given, given, giving all this energy, giving so much love, giving so much of your attention to this situation. And it might be that you... You might be even trying to numb out the pain, all right? And sometimes that can happen subconsciously, so just try to be aware of that. It's okay for a little while if that helps you, but you can't stay in that numbing um, period for too long, all right? Because then that's just, it's not going to help you to really process what is happening so that you can heal that, okay? Um, numbing can only work for so long, but it doesn't get to the core of what needs to be healed. 
So let's see how we're going to do this because I feel like it's two different groups. We'll see. I might actually pull for each group separately. Alright, we have Judgment, we have the Seven of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so I feel like this is going to be uh, mostly for those of you in the first group here um, where you're where you're feeling good. And when I say feeling good, it doesn't mean that the pain is completely gone. It doesn't mean that you are 100% healed, right? Healing is a process that we can always be working on until the day we die. Um, it just means that you're feeling good right now, all right? That you have learned um, certain lessons, you have healed a lot within yourself, and so you're in this place just feeling lighter rather than that heavy, dark night of the soul. So for you, I, yeah, you've had, again, it feels like a major revelation. I feel like it's a transition to a new um, way of seeing things right now. And I feel like, you know, the, because you, I've said this before, it's, it's like it's continuing. Because it just feels so different. Because it's almost as if you feel like you've had a rebirth. And it is. There's a lot of shifts that are taking place right now energetically. It might be confusing you a little bit. You might be like, well, what? why the hell am I feeling this way? Uh, I feel good, but why am I feeling so good? Why am I not feeling this attachment? It feels, it's like freedom can sometimes be confusing when you have not had that energy for so long. All right, when you've been attached to something, once you release it, it just feels like kind of like a bird who's let out of the cage. Um, yeah, it's exciting. They're free. That's what they wanted. But at the same time, it can just feel a little bit off. So that's what I'm getting here. Kind of like, all right, where do I go now? What do I do now? That kind of, uh, I feel like it's that kind of a thing. And know that that's okay, all right? You are on the right path. There is a new... Um, just like this new path for you here, all right, with that Ace of Swords. And it's based on you having found your truth, finding your own authenticity. And I feel like you are, there's a mirroring a little bit with what we saw in the Masculines in the sense of you are really focused now on other things in your life. You are focused on your material world, but in the, in the good way, all right, in the very positive aspect of that word. Um, Possibly focusing on your life mission or just on work or on being creative or on being productive, doing things. So let me get, let's get a couple for the second group here. the star, the page of wands, the high priestess, and temperance. All right, so a lot of major arcana here. So yeah, definitely major things happening. I feel like this, um, this dark night of the soul or this negative energy that you might be feeling, for a lot of you, it might not be that intense. It, it's like, it, it's not as intense as it may have been at some point in the past. I, I, it feels more to me like there's just this really strong longing, a longing for a new beginning, possibly, you know, with with your masculine, which again, it's also very um, natural, but there's a very, very strong longing for it to the, to the point where it might feel like you are, you have been very patient. And so that kind of gets to you because it feels like, well, how patient do I have to be? And that not knowing the high priestess, it, it's kind of like you don't know what is going on. And I feel like that is part of what is really um, triggering you possibly in this way. And I do feel that a big part of this, of this process is to help you to find that balance within yourself. That's why this is happening because 
there's a balance that is needed when it comes to how much you're wishing for something that might be outside of your own control, something that you you cannot really influence it and sometimes that's hard to deal with. So let me actually clarify, I want to clarify just this whole row here for you. Alright, the Three of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, there's a lot of pain here. Um, I feel like the message here is that there is still some pain that needs to be healed, which sometimes that pain just needs time. Alright, it's like you can be working on yourself. And I feel like, you know, for the most part, you are. You are, um, and just, it's just, it just takes time sometimes. It's something you cannot force. You know, you cannot force detachment. You cannot force yourself to be healed. It's just a matter of giving yourself time and just being aware of your, of your emotions, what it is that you're feeling, and then just trying to learn, trying to become aware of your own self. And what does this mean about you? Finding those shadows through this experience find the shadows within yourself so that you can bring them up to the surface and then become like this queen of wands you know take control and find that self-worth within yourself find that confidence find that assert assertiveness find that just find that love within yourself as much as you possibly can that's all you can do but without having crazy expectations for the healing process just allow it to kind of, um, allow it to come naturally. So, let me get just a couple for, <laughs> and I just had the, the, um, four of swords flip over, so I'm going to take that too, because that just really represents that healing, so does temperance that we have there. And so, yeah, I do feel like this is happening for you because there is something that you are healing here, all right, and it's a, I feel like it's a very deep wound. Alright, so for the first group here, we have the King of Swords and the Emperor. Wow. Yeah, so I feel like you're just becoming more clear. You're becoming just more... Um, you're finding that divine masculine energy within your own self. Um, and just being very, very firm. <laughs> I feel possibly even with others in your life not just your not just your divine masculine i feel like you're just very very clear you're very stern and firm you set your boundaries for what it is that you want what it is that you tolerate and what it is that you don't tolerate and i feel like you're taking actions um for your own self here all right and being being that emperor for your own self so i feel like yeah there's not much more to say here because i feel like you're just at the moment like on a very very um good path and, and just in very high vibration and for those of you in this group here yeah just know that you do have support all right you are moving towards healing and all this energy is here to help you to heal something that needed to come up all right so let me just get a couple cards just to see what might be coming up for you or just any final messages for you and then we'll get the final oracle card to close out your reading All right, we have the lovers, the queen of pentacles, and the moon. Yeah, so I feel like both groups, regardless of what um, phase you're in, and one is not more ahead than the other, by the way, okay? It could be that, you know, it, it, it really doesn't matter, okay? It's just that if you're going through this, there was something more that needed to come up for you to heal, and that could happen to this group later on, all right? So either way, all of this, this is moving you towards love. Regardless, I feel like you are 
for the most part, the Divine Feminine Collective is moving towards really accepting this bond, this love, this unconditional love that you have for the masculine, also feeling that they too have that for you and feel the same way towards you. But at the same time, you're still okay with not knowing what the outcome is going to be. You don't have expectations for it. Yeah, I, you don't know. It's all in the dark. Um, but even so, you can still feel this the bond even if there has been pain all right so for some of you that may have gone through you know just feeling a lot of resentment you know i i feel like you're overcoming that resentment and a part of the reason why is because you are taking such good care of your own self you are so focused on your own self and on your own life and moving your own self forward nurturing yourself and doing also that inner work all right, and that's, again, it's for the both of you. So this is what um, might be coming up for you in the next week or so. It is a little bit general, but yeah, I feel like that is the message that Spirit really wants to get across. And if not, you know, take it as, as guidance to find that love that you know is there, all right, and really just feel it, but still, you know, being okay with, or just accepting the fact that you might not know where this is heading or when certain things are going to happen, all right? And keep working on, on you, obviously. All right. <clears throat> there might be something happening that you don't see as well. Um, I feel like a lot of the inner work that is happening and the shifts taking place within yourself, you can't see them yet. They're going to be revealed um, later on, as well as certain things that are happening in this connection. And it's all going to make sense later on. All right, and we have flexible, yeah. <laughs> It's a similar, I feel like this is a similar message to something that came out recently. Um, this is all about being flexible in the sense of what I was just talking about. You can hold love for this person, but also be flexible in when and how things are going to occur. Not having those expectations. Allowing the universe to do what it needs to do and allowing this, just the whole journey to unfold naturally. So those were the messages. I hope this resonated with you guys. Do let me know and I'm sending you so much love. Bye.